Hello and welcome along to another episode of this Cricket 22 Ashes Test Series from England with me, Daniel. We are back today as the tourists to finish day two at the Gabba. We're into our sixth session of the Test Match and we're doing pretty well at the moment. It's evenly poised, which is a lot better than England have done in real life. And we'll be hoping that we can build on what has been a good batting inning so far. We're chasing down Australia's total, but we did lose a crucial wicket in the last over of the last episode. So we come out after tea to complete day two today. If you're looking forward to it, seeing if we can surpass Australia's total, whether we can avoid a batting collapse with the middle and lower order, then please do put a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe down below for daily FM22 content from two long-term stories. It's been a massive week in both series in terms of transfers, jobs and all sorts. A great thank you to everyone who supported them. But we are going to go and get into it. We've got highlights from the last 30 overs of day two. We'll do a quick recap of the scorecard before we get there. I'll see you in a minute to run through it. Okay, so here's where we stand at the moment. Each session has been slightly shortened today and over short due to the fact there was largely seen bowling, I guess. Nathan Lyon, though, the one spinner who has come in, certainly been the key man for Australia. And that's what we've been missing so far, to be brutally honest. If we have a look at the scorecard, though, things are looking pretty good. Australia, 313 all out. That was after being about 130 for two. But then we skittled through them pretty quickly after that, bar a little bit of resistance from Stark and Carey. In terms of England, though, we're 220 for four. We lost David Milan for 62 in a final over before T. But Rory Burns with 39, Root with 38, and Stokes not out at 30. You'll remember before T, he really accelerated the innings. He came out and played some beautiful strokes. And we've also now got Johnny Bairstow at the crease. He did just face a few balls and saw off an LB shout from Nathan Lyon late on, but he survived the four balls. And now they've got to build a partnership after T. If we're still in at the end of the day, we're inevitably going to be close to the total, if not above it, particularly with the likes of Stokes and Butler being quite aggressive. I'd like to add some runs. And if we can get to 300 with the wicket still in, we can then be a bit more aggressive with the star batsman, but that's a big ask. We know Wood, Anderson and Broad in his latter years, probably a bigger tail than we'd like. So it is really down to these two and then the next two in Butler and Wokes. Let's see what we can achieve. There's the Australia bowling scorecard, just in case you're wondering. We're looking forward to facing Cummins and Hazelwood a bit more. They've been the most expensive so far. Cummins, he's been all over the place, to be honest with you. Stark's been brilliant, hard to get away, but doesn't threaten the stumps too often. Nathan Lyon is causing all sorts of trouble, but hopefully the sweep shot will come out for Bairstow. We'll be able to look pretty good. 59 overs gone. England, 220 for four. Let's get into the highlights of the final session of day two. As it is the skipper, Pat Cummins, who will start the first over post tee. Bowl straight on the stumps to Stokes, and it's a lovely punch down to mid on. In fact, it's slightly wider than that, but it's going to go for at least two, possibly three. The outfield getting incredibly slow here at the Gabba, but it is kept in. Three runs for Stokes. Bairstow back on strike. But to be honest, that's the perfect start. Cummins bowling it straight at us again. You're probably wondering watching this series so far. I'm not against playing on the offside, but they're so packed with the field there. And there's space on the legs. This one might be one we can get away. Oh, jeez. How on earth has that missed the stumps? It's a wonderful delivery. Bearstow almost chops on. It, it somehow misses. I can't explain that. Nathan Lyon halfway through his first over to Ben Stokes. We just want one that we can nudge away like that. Easy single, Bearstow on strike, and Stokes moves on to 34. Been a fabulous start from him. England 2 2 4 for 4. Well, Bearstow staying around the wicket. Now, I know in real life he loves to drift out his leg pad and just hit it there, but we want to get a sweep, get off the mark, and Bearstow will do just that. Again, you can see it's such an offside heavy field to Bearstow. Can we get one away on the leg side? We can. That'll be a big confidence booster for Bearstow. Might beat his man to the boundary as well. It does. On to five. And that one should settle him down. Pat Cummins steams in again. Same field. Space on the leg side. Poor delivery again. And Bearstow has just taken advantage of two awful balls. Pat Cummins, he's not bowling to his field. He's the only Australian bowler that hasn't. And it's caused all sorts of trouble for him. He's packed the offside, trying to get the edge. Trying to get a catch outside off from a drive. And then he's bowled it right onto the leg pad. So you can just glance it into the out empty outfield. It's a very strange setup. This time he's bought cover in short. Trying to force us to play outside off. But again, it's right on the leg pad. Yes, it's a higher delivery this time. It's a bouncer. 
but it might go all the way again. I don't think it's going to, but it'll be a comfortable two. And Bearstow, just like that, moves into double figures, 10 runs off four balls. When you compare that none of the other Australian bowlers have got a run rate of above three and a half and over, Cummins is going at over five. And he's still bowling onto that leg side. It's so easy to glance away without a fielder there. What it also means is suddenly Bairstow has caught up with Stokes in terms of the strike rate. It's onto the pads again. It's ridiculous. He's going to go to a runner ball now. 17 off 17. An atrocious over from the skipper who's got the worst figures on the scorecard by a mile. It means Stokes is back on to Pat Cummins. And finally, the gaps on the leg side have been plugged. It means down the ground is sort of our best option in terms of an attacking stroke. And it's a beauty from Ben Stokes. He's probably the only batsman that's been able to do that confidently so far. It's only going to be one run, but it just looks elegant. Cummins in again, bowling outside off to Bearstoke, finally playing to his field until that one. Easy run. Simple as you like to rotate the strike, and that's going to be crucial again in this session. Pat Cummins back to the left-handed field for Ben Stokes. That's on the leg pad as well, but won't beat the fielder. Dot ball. Oh, it's going to be an overthrow. It's a terrible ball across. It's going to be four just like that. And for Stokes, who's chasing a half century, he'll certainly take a gift like that. On to 39 undeservedly. And this time, Pat Cummins has been hard done by. A space on the leg side again. If we can glance it thin enough, we'll try. Oh, it's a wonderful shot. Might not be one, though. Oh, great fielding. Good job we got back, but it's four more overthrows. Oh, my God. Two balls in a row. That's ridiculous. Bearstow back on to face Nathan Lyon over the wicket. A step to cross his stumps. Tries to get the sweep out. And that should be a simple single all day long. We'll keep doing those. Past the 250 mark with those overthrows. 253 for four now, England. And after the mundane approach to the morning session, we're going to over one a ball here with Ben Stokes. He glances away. Another one might even be two with the way the field set up. The slide means we should get back for a double. And Bearstow will get himself in. Excellent running. I'd be tempted to bring out the six for the half century, but I'm not going to do something that ridiculous. Maybe if it's for the hundred, we'll do it. But that should be another one. The fielder's out deep, so again, gives us a chance to get back. That one's too ambitious, though. Two, five, six for four. Well, four off the over. It's relaxing for Bearstow because he's not got to push things here. But there are spaces in the offside if he can find them. And he does with a lovely shot through the vacant mid-wicket area. Should be one, and they're going to get back for two. Excellent running. Bearstow gets into the 20s. England move on to 258. It's been an absolutely beautiful over by the skipper. Coming back from the disappointment of the eight overthrows last over. That one just glances off Stokes. It's a horrible little ball. Bearstow's in a rush to get back there, but he does. Well, Josh Hazelwood is coming back in. And again, he's left loads of space on the leg side. So surely he's going to try and bowl outside off. Again, it's too easy to get away. The fields do not match what the bowler's doing. And that is something that hadn't happened earlier in the day and isn't happening to certain bowlers. Stokes moves on to 48. If you can get another one of those, we'll be celebrating a second half century of the innings. Milan got the first one in the last session. Can Stokes add his here? Short ball, played outside, leg stump. It's a big hook to the leg side. It's not going to go all the way, but it will be two. And with that, Ben Stokes will celebrate 50. England on to 263 in the 67th over. And 50 runs off 50 balls for Ben Stokes. Four for the over for Hazelwood. Giving away some runs so far. And he's going to again. There's so much space out there. This one should only be one. Nope, it's going to be two again. Stokes will get back. Six off the over already. But Hazelwood bounces back with a nasty bouncer. It's an excellent ball. This one away from Stokes to the leg side though. And it's back to normal service. He's taken advantage of bowlers not bowling to their field. He's got another two runs. Eight off the over. Stokes on 54, England 267 for four. The usual high quality start from Mitchell Stark so far. There is space in mid wicket if we can get it away. And that's a lovely shot from Bearstow. He's not got a rush now because Stokes is going so well. Just gets a single onto 22. And Stark will now face the left hander, the informed Ben Stokes. And this is the matchup we were looking to avoid. Final ball of the over. It's been two balls, two dots, sorry, so far for Stokes against Stark. But he gets that one away on the leg side. Should be two. It will be two. Stokes gets back. Bairstow gets back on strike for the start of the next over. And England on to 270. That two from Stokes also brings up the 50 partnership for Bairstow and Stokes. 
Bairstow starts the next over in style. Lovely ball away on the leg side. The outfield is horrendously slow, but we're adding two runs every time. In fact, this one will even be three, and Stokes will be on strike. The deficit now, just 40. So the next target, probably 300, and then we'll be looking at when we can get to the Australia total. That's another single. It's so easy to get cheap runs at the minute. They look demoralised, and they've given away another four overthrows. The fielding's atrocious. I've even turned it up to hard difficulty to try and prevent this, but it's not worked for us. Absolutely exceptional start for England. We've added loads of runs without any reply. And we're going to try and put the hammer down now. Really take advantage. It's on leg stump. We're going to get it away for another single. And we want to try and do this where possible. We've got Australia on the ropes. And I feel we could make 400 here. Final ball of the over. We've seen another single for Bearstow to bring Stokes back on strike. Another short ball put away on the leg side. And that should be an easy one. Bearstow gets back in. England on to 281. And if there's one thing this partnership has done, it's really up the run rate. We're absolutely flying at the minute. Stark onto the pads for Stokes, another single. They've got to bowl outside off. That's where they were causing us trouble. England onto 282. It's so comfortable. The dot pressure is building from Mitchell Stark. He's doing his job at his end at least. Four dots to Bearstow in a row. This one outside leg though. And Bearstow smashes it away through mid wicket to the boundary. Four runs for England, a perfect finish. And he moves on to 30 as well. Well, Hazelwood has switched to around the wicket this over, and he's been brilliant. However, he's ruined it with a no ball off what would have been the final one of the over. And in his next delivery, just lost his focus a bit. It drifts onto the pads. Stokes will get two, and that's now three off the over. They can't slow us down. They can't stop us scoring. England on to 289, and now 25 more runs, and we'll be ahead. Well, Stark back in over the wicket, and we've got to reflect on the fact we're in the 13th over, and we've added 69 runs since T. It's an excellent effort, as Bairstow gets one away again on the leg side. They're just not finding their line. This is a fatigued field with an old ball that is really struggling. Bairstow gets two onto 32, England into the 290s. We're building confidence all the time here, because they're not bowling to the field. It makes it so easy to deal with. Another one through mid-wicket for Bearstow that's right on the leg pads. Didn't bother playing to the offside field. And we get another comfortable two. We can run these all day. And we'll be looking to capitalise before the drinks break when the coaches can have a quick word. Another one in the same area. And that one's hit even better. Going for four from Bearstow. And if Mitchell Stark starts getting expensive, the seamers for Australia have got no hope. As Hazelwood's back in again and he switched back to over the wicket despite having a brilliant over last time out going around. Bowls one straight onto the pads, half volley Yorker length, and that's going to go all the way as well. I don't understand the tactics. England passed 300. They desperately need to get Nathan Lyon on and tie up an end as quickly as possible. Because we are now 12 behind the Australian first innings total. With six wickets to spare, Ben Stokes on 70 at one a ball, and Bear Stoke going well as well. Stokes gets another one to the leg side, doesn't connect fully, should just be one. He's basically playing the Travis head roll from the real life burst test. This one's in on the stumps. So easy to hit away. And I think that's going to go all the way as well. It's easy for Stokes because they're all coming out the middle. He moves on to 75. He is racing away towards a century. Seven more runs to catch Australia's total. A start comes in over the wicket again. Got to bowl outside off. Instead, it's a Yorker onto the pads. It's going to be an easy set of runs. Just two this time. But Stokes is having an absolute field day. You wouldn't bet against a century at this point. But this is the change they need. Nathan Lyon to save the day. And more importantly, to hold the run rate down at one end. Ben Stokes is going to be the man to face him. Around the wicket comes Lyon. Just outside off. But easy to get away for one. Stokes in an absolute hurry to get a century. Well, when you put into perspective that Lyon is only going at two and over. Oh, it's edged! Oh, I was about to say it's a wonderful effort economically, but it's even better from the wickets. Four for Nathan Lyon, a poor edge from Bairstow. He tried to get down for the sweep, but it was too late. And in the end, it just ended up being a big heaving edge, almost brought out the helicopter. It's into the slips to Steve Smith, and Bairstow is out for 38. My word, Australia needed that. But now they've got to face Joss Butler, and I would imagine... Once we get confident, he can be as aggressive as Stokes. England, 309 for five, five of Australia's total. 
Well, there's the drinks break. A little bit later this time. We've had 17 overs already since the tea break. Stokes doing brilliantly at the minute. And Joss Butler, brand new to the crease after the wicket of Bearstow. A few of them getting out in the 30s, but Stokes, 78, making up for that. Butler saw off the three balls of the Lion over. Hazelwood in, again on leg stump, again away from Stokes. And that'll be a single. Now, Butler got a chance to get off the mark again. Well, I take it back. It went for four ridiculous overthrows. I didn't even notice, but Stokes now moves on to 83 and stays on strike. Oh, but nearly gets caught out by the slower one. Excellent bowling this time from Hazelwood. I've got to say, we've not noticed it before in the other sessions quite so badly. The overthrows are ridiculous. There's so many of them, as that's an edge from Stokes. He will get through for one, though. And Butler will now be on strike as a result. Outside off, you'll be expecting from Hazelwood. Anything on the pads, he'll gobble it up. And there it is with the first one. Through mid-wicket, you don't give a start like that to an excellent batsman. Butler will get two quick ones. This partnership... Could be the one to take the game away from Australia. If we can add another 50 here, this will be a very healthy lead. Well, he's tempted me, Hazelwood. He's bought in the short cover. We might be tempted to go for it, but not if he bowls to the leg side like that. Not sure it's going to reach the boundary, and it's not even going to be two. It's excellent fielding, but another single, and Butler will keep the strike. Halfway through the line over, and again, we're having big trouble with him. That should be an easy sweep, though. It's a shot that Butler's very confident with. And he moves on to four. England on to 320 and lead by seven now. Mitchell Stark had his most expensive spell last time out. But he sorted his field out here as Butler's in again. Oh, it's right on the pads and it's a beautiful shot. Alongside Stokes, probably the only person that can just drive with power down the ground like that. And he adds two more. On to six and England looking confident against Mitchell Stark this time. Second ball of the over. He has plugged that gap at mid on. But there's a space in mid wicket if we can find it. Oh, what a shot, Butler. And this is what we've got to do now. We've played a brilliant defensive test innings with the likes of Burns and Hamid and Root and Milan. Now we've got to up the tempo. Stokes and Butler were in the lead. They're the two most aggressive attacking players. Let's go one day style. This is what you work hard and get yourself in for, isn't it? Let those superstars in the middle order be match winners. Butler, away on the leg side, beats the fielder just fine of him. Beautiful placement with a shot. And another four. Butler up to one a ball at 14. Both batsmen absolutely flying now. The run rate has gone up exponentially. Nathan Lyon chasing his five foot. He's brought loads of fielders in short. But Butler gets it away with the sweep. And there's not a fielder right there. So it's going to be a really confident one. Might even be a semi-aggressive two. Oh, I don't know if we've made that. We're going to the big screen. Let's get through it. Oh, I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Oh, it's out. Oh, no. Butler for 16. We tried to sneak a very greedy second. That could be the one that costs us a big lead here. 3-3-3 three, three, three for 6. The first really avoidable wicket. And now Chris Wokes has got to come in and just give Ben Stokes the strike. This, though, is where Stokes has to take advantage now. Against Seam, against Mitchell Stark. If he bowls one on the leg pads, he's got to try and get the boundary. He does just that with the first ball. Only going to be one, but gets on to 85 and continues to build the lead. It's going to be very hard if he finds his line and length here. He'll be expecting the lower order batsman to get an edge. That one's lovely, though. Good drive from Wokes. Probably not got the pace to reach the boundary, but it should be a very comfortable two. Wokes off the mark. England on the 3-3-6. Two balls left in the over. It's been a pretty good one from Stark. It's got to be said. He's testing the stumps here. Oh, that's going to be LB. Mitchell starts got him. That is a beautiful delivery. We'll challenge it just because we've got the option to. We've got three challenges left. And we've got to take the advantage of the review. But I think it was going to hit the stumps. It was a full delivery. So it's not a question of height. It's just whether it hit him in line. And whether it was going on to hit the stumps. But I think this is going to be pretty plumb. Oh, I think that's out. Let's have a look at the ball tracking. The original decision's out, so umpire's call doesn't save us. Pitch is outside off. No shot offered and hitting the stumps. Almost went over, but Chris Wokes goes. The lower order batting collapse is coming. We need someone to stay with Stokes to get a century. Final ball of the over. 3-3-6 three, three, for 7. This is starting to change quite quickly now. Short one to Broad, who does well to get it away. And he'll go back on strike for the spin, which might save Stokes for what we need him for. Well, Lyon around the wicket to Broad. I can't say I'm super confident about this. That one's onto the stumps, though, should be one. 
and he gets off strike. But here comes Mitchell Stark again and Stokes is back on strike with space on the leg side. It's at the stumps. It's easy to get away. It'll be another single. Rod on two. I would imagine it's going to face some pretty hostile bowling here. It's going to be short or it's going to be outside off. It's neither. It's a pretty awful ball in the end and Broad will actually probably come back and get two here. That two means that Broad stays on strike and although we'd like Stokes to get to the half century, any runs at this point are welcomely received as Broad going for a quick one just gets through from the short ball. And this is the field we were expecting to face. Lots of players in and around the infield trying to prevent runs but that's a wild short ball and now they're just gifting us free runs. Put a field out like that and bowl the one ball they can't defend. A start comes in again. It's been an expensive spell for him again, this one. That one's onto the stumps. Just missed from Stokes, but it beats the wicketkeeper again. Absolute chaos in this innings from Australia in the field. Well, Broad just trying to survive against Lyon at the minute. They're brilliant deliveries. They're hard to get away. That one finally onto the pad. Single for Broad. Stokes will try and add runs. Nathan Lyon into Ben Stokes, space down the ground, but I'm probably not bold enough to hit that and don't need to when that's the delivery because that's going to be another one for Stokes. And now Broad's just got to survive two balls. Lyon versus Broad again, straight at the stumps. Nice for Broad, it'll take those all day. Might even think about getting back for two here, but not going to happen. 3 5 5 for seven, one ball left in the over. It's three singles in a row now, and if Stokes can find one here, He'll stay on strike for the over of seam. It's straight at the stumps. It's away on the leg side. Bit close to the fielder. Broad gets back. Excellent work. Four off it. Three, five, six for seven are England. Well, the new ball has been taken by Australia. 84 overs gone. The other seamers have had a rest. I guess Stark will get one and then Cummins and Hazelwood are back in. There's space on the leg side. We've got to leave everything outside off. Swings a little bit there. But Stokes gets another one, looking very confident as always. Well, Broad is probably the more susceptible man to the new ball, so we're going to try and defend and leave as much as possible. Like the short ball there, which has bounced away for another four. There's definitely something wrong tactically here, because Nathan Lyon has stayed at the other end for some reason, despite the new ball. He's given away a simple one there for, Broad, uh, for Stokes, sorry, might even be two. And he gets back, Stokes onto 92. And Lyon, for some reason, still the bowler at this end, which Stokes will be delighted with. Eight away from the century. The lead is now up to 50. Big milestone. Going to increase again because that should go for at least one, probably two. It will be two. Stokes will move on to 94. Stokes, 94 off 97. Stunning inning so far. That's going to be a single, I think, and one ball for Broad to see off. Lyon outside off, trying to bowl to Broad. It's a really poor delivery. And we're going to try and rush through for two here because I really want Stokes to get back on strike for the start of the next over. If Broad loses his wicket, so be it, but he doesn't. He moves on to nine. England, absolutely flying at the minute. Well, Hazelwood is into the attack and look at the field now. We can basically hit a single wherever we want. That one is another four over the wicket keeper's head. Even though it's benefiting me at the moment, it's starting to annoy me now because it's just unrealistic that Stokes stays on strike. Is he going to get a shot he can play? Let's see. That one's onto the pads. Should be away for one. He can get a single anywhere he wants. And if that field stays, he's certain to make a century. Broad back on strike to Hazelwood. The field comes right into him and he gets it away on the leg side for one. Stokes will get back on strike with three balls left in the over. Nathan Lyon stays at the other end with the new ball again and Stokes has got easy pickings here. This should be two and it's going to move him on to 99 of 104. One away from the century and if the next ball's just as bad we're going to be celebrating a mammoth innings. Everyone else has struggled to get the strike rate up, has struggled to make a good innings here and Ben Stokes has just gone and smacked 100 at very close to one a ball. And it has taken us from scrapping towards Australia's total to a massive lead in the first innings. 100 off 105. And that little partnership with Bearstow means we've now got a lead of 66. Just to put it into perspective, we have added 159 runs in this session. That's the speed that Bearstow, Butler and mostly Stokes have gone at that have completely changed this game on its head. Up to 380, a lead of 67. And Australia have got to try and keep us under 400. But that's easier said than done with Stokes here. Now, we don't want him to get sloppy as soon as he reaches his 100. The 101 will be the relief. 
And it is that. It's going to be 102 as well. In the outfield, no one really close enough to cause trouble. Stokes on to 102. Well, 88 overs gone. Roth and over early again. That is the best session we've had by a long way. Big runs due to the run rate of Stokes, Butler and Bairstow. And the fact they've come in in the middle order, not under pressure, has made a massive difference to this innings. Yes, we lost three quick wickets. We lost Bairstow, Butler and Wokes in a space of 27 runs. But the damage is done by Ben Stokes. A big century for him. And look at the increase in the scoring rate. We're talking about one off two balls for Burns for Milan. Root was under one in two. Hamid's strike rate was one in four. It's an incredible turnaround to Stokes then coming out and smashing 100. Lots of good running between the wickets. Lots of good scoring. And if we can get past that 400 mark, if we can maybe get to that lead of 100, that is a big marker to set. And hopefully for the second innings, we'll put Australia under pressure. Really pleased with how we batted in that innings. If you did enjoy it, Stokes Masterclass and the great support from Bairstow and Butler, please do put a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe down below for daily FM22 content from Two Long Term Stories. Three episodes a week from this one too. I'm aware this is coming out in the middle of the test match, the second test, but I'm not sure how England will be getting on because I'm recording in advance. So fingers crossed, a little bit better. If you want to stay up to date, this one's out Saturday, Monday and Wednesday morning. The other playlists from FM22 are up in the eye above, as of course is the Twitch channel for regular live streams and a football podcast where we've got festive content coming soon. But a massive thank you for watching, for supporting as always. It really is greatly appreciated. Let me know how you're getting on by comparison, whether you're finding it easier with Battle Ball, and if you're seeing the same silly extras that we have too. But thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time, where fingers crossed we can pass the 400 mark.